Hey, Rachel Bazarali here, and I am going to take you through a quick, effective upper body workout while my baby sleeps. So for this, you don't need any equipment. You can do it when you know your baby is either alert and in their bouncer, or they've gone down for a nap, and you know just a quick way to get in some upper body strengthening. So let's begin. I'm gonna do all of these exercises on my knees, but if you are ready and more advanced, you can do them off of the knees with straight legs. I'm still recovering from C-section, so I am taking it easy. I also have a little bit of that splitting of the abdominal wall, so I have to be careful with the core work and no crunches, just stick to plank leg exercises. So, starting with our arms, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Make sure that you're not back here. Make sure your shoulders are stacked over the hands. Make sure your butt's not in the air. So bring your pelvis down, draw the belly muscles in, and make sure you don't drop your head. So you're gonna keep your neck in line with your cervical spine. Elbows go out to the side, exhale up. We're gonna go for 10 reps. So inhale, exhale, nine, up, eight, seven, Good work, four, three, two, ah, one, and stretch back. Just give the shoulders a little break, give your wrist a little roll, shake out the hands, take a deep breath in, big exhale, draw the shoulders down, again, inhale, exhale, and set yourself up right away, no rest, right, keep going through, 10 more, 10. Harder than I remember. Three. And I'm not even off my knees yet. Two. Oh, one more. And stretch back. Shake it out. Check on the baby. She's snoozing. She's chilling. She is chilling. Shake out those wrists. Deep breath. One more. And we're going in for set number three. Set number three. If you need more rest in between, of course, you take it. But, you know, the less rest, the more you're going to keep that heart rate up and it becomes more of a cardiovascular workout at the same time as you're getting the strength. So more bang for your buck. We go 10, 9, 8. If it feels hard, good. It should. 7. If it doesn't feel like work, it's not working out. 6, 5, ah, 4, 3. Oh man, can't believe how much strength I've lost. I guess it's been 9 months. <laughs> Two. I did do some upper body though. Uh, not a lot towards the end. Whew. And this baby went a full 42 weeks. Girl did not want to come out of the oven. Whew. All right. So give yourself a little rest. Shake out the hands. Grab a sip of water if you need it. And now we're going to do three sets of tricep push up. So very similar, except you're going to bring your hands instead of wider than shoulder width, directly underneath. Right, so they're much closer together. Fingertips are pointing straight ahead. Same thing, line yourself up, draw the belly in. This time your goal is to get your elbows to touch the sides of your body and then press the floor away. So you inhale down, you exhale up. If you have hyperextended elbows, right, make sure you're not doing this. I tend to do that. I have to be mindful and keep my elbows just a little bit soft at the top. So I'm easing my joints. I have no idea how many I did, but I feel like it's not 10. I'm gonna go for two more. Remember, it's not really about reps. It's about until you lose form. And I can feel myself about to lose form. So I'm gonna do one more. Oh man. And I'm gonna rest. And I'm gonna talk myself out of being discouraged right now. <laughs> uh, gotta remember that I grew a human being and I took off from fitness and it's gonna take a long time to get it back. We're not gonna get defeated. And plus she was totally worth it. I would not ever do anything differently. Uh -uh. And you know, I was very conservative with exercise, especially in my first trimester. In retrospect, I think, you know, should I have been a little bit more vigilant about exercising? But at the same time, 
no, because it was my first pregnancy and I wanted to be safe. And I did very low intense uh, exercises, low impact exercises, mostly swimming, a little bit of light uh, weight training. But, you know, I, I don't think I would change it because I had a great pregnancy and I have an amazing, amazing baby. Um, it's tough to know what you can do and what you can't do. So you just have to kind of listen to your body day by day because it's changing every single day. And same thing right now in the recovery process. I'm learning right now that uh, my upper body strength is not where I anticipated it being, but I just gotta go day by day. So with that being said, enough resting. I'm just, I'm just stalling because I don't want to do another set. That's all that was. That was called procrastination. That was called too much recovery because you don't like tricep push-ups. Oh. Big breath as you go down. Big exhale to come up. One more, Rich, one more. Yes, I talk to myself when I work out. Ah. Okay. Can you do a third set? Yeah, sure. Do you want to? No. Are you going to do it? Yes. Have I gone psycho? Yes. Uh, 